Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear sons and daughters of planet Earth. I am Sananda. My heart always fills with joy when I can be here once again with each of you. The energies are strong and active, consciousnesses are in constant transformation, consciousnesses are expanding, truths are coming to the surface, your world seems in total imbalance. Gaia's nature seems angry at some points, bringing suffering, pain into your concept. The message I want to leave today is exactly about this. The vast majority of souls that live on this planet have been here for a long time, they are not new souls on the planet, they are old souls that have already passed through many epochs, through many eras. And I can tell you, you don't know what violence and pain truly are. A long, long time ago, this was normal on your planet. The barbarities, the wars, the invasions, the deaths. All types of actions against human beings were carried out. So today you have much more awareness, society created rules and evolved little by little, no longer allowing so many barbarities and so many wars. But if you look at your world, you can see that some things remain the same, wars continue, violence continues, barbarities continue. And why, if your society has evolved, if today there are laws and rules, which theoretically should no longer allow any of this. We can say that for these ancient souls, on this planet, this is the last incarnation in the third dimension. And all these souls with not pure hearts had several incarnations so that they could recognize their faults and learn their lessons. But there is the dark side, where some souls made pacts to never follow the path of light. So they incarnate, reincarnate, 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 and continue to be what they always were. Adapting only to the new rules, but always circumventing them all, not allowing them to be stopped by the laws. And I can guarantee that many, having been learning for a long time, chose not to incarnate again so as not to do any more harm to anyone. But many, despite this entire process, did not change but they came in this incarnation in a last attempt by God the Father or Mother for them to see what they themselves caused over time and be able to change. Some succeeded, many changed, many are today on the path to the light. But some did not, they continue to reverberate what they have always reverberated, pain, evil, suffering. Every point on this planet has an egregore, every city, every town, Every small group of people creates an egregore, which grows over time. You cannot see it, but today, if you were to look at your planet as a map, you would not see anything, you would only see black balls all over the surface of the planet. This is not to say that evil has won or is winning, because these are thought forms, they are not the energy of the planet. The planet is two or three water, there are no humans there so the planet's energy is light. Now, each point on the planet has its egregore, it has its people and this egregore changes according to the people's consciousness. But we are in a period of extreme change, we are in a period of evolution, there is no longer time to wait decades or millennia for these egregores to be cleansed, for these egregores to become light. So, many souls are on the planet now and continue to sow evil. So many are leaving, many lost their chance and this will happen across the planet. Gaia is not angry, there are ways and means of acting together, of acting in such a way that several souls are removed at once. Then many may ask, but doesn't everyone there have light? Of course. Many there have light, but many there chose not to be here anymore, they chose not to go through the process in the physical body. So you are in the right place, at the right time, to make your soul's choice count. There is no excessive suffering caused by father or mother God, there are soul choices, there is cleansing of the planet. No, the planet will not be completely cleansed so that only beings of light stay here. But I can tell you, that where the concentration of evil is greater, it will have to be cleansed, so that the energy of light stands out at that point. Then you will see a lot of ugly and sad things happening. 
souls need to leave and they will not go with a simple invitation. The time has come for everyone to be removed from the planet and no, we are not invading anyone's free will. Each of the souls that leave made the choice, had the opportunity to make the choice and continued choosing evil, then the opportunity is over. Nothing is being done without control, father or mother God is not like that, he is not vengeful nor does he punish anyone. So stop looking at what happens on your planet and asking God why. Everyone there had a choice, many survived and why? Because they chose to stay here. All wishes are being respected, stop looking at father or mother God as a being who has no love for his children, who makes his children suffer. There, father or mother God is not doing anything, it is the choice of those souls. So be it. Learn to look at everything with the eyes of love, with the eyes of conscience, with the eyes of understanding, without judgment, without criticism. Every soul that leaves at this moment, now, here, made a choice and this choice is being respected. Time passes for you and many of you don't know about tomorrow, do you? I would say no, you do not know the choices your souls have made. So don't contest, don't judge, don't suffer the suffering of those who are there. Because every human being who goes through a very serious problem, suffering, there is a lesson to be learned, it is an opportunity to learn. Do not look at anything as punishment and do not cry out to the heavens, asking God not to make anyone suffer, because God the father or mother does not do that. Any suffering is a product of your choices. God the father or mother does not impose suffering on anyone, it is your choices of soul and mind that attracts suffering. So vibrate light, do you want to help your brothers who are in need? Vibrate light, vibrate light to that location on the planet, so that that egregore begins to change, so that that egregore changes frequency. Now I would say to you, worry about the egregore of where you live, that's what's important. Send light to where you live, to the building, to the neighborhood, to the city, to the state, to the country. This is being a walker of light, one who emanates light. Instead of worrying about what is happening far away, look at the place where you live, emanate light towards it. In this way, each of you can change the world, as you usually say, look at your own navel and stop judging, stop questioning Father or Mother God. And to finish, I would like to say a few words regarding our meeting, which will take place in May. Every event is an opportunity. Opportunity? Yes, an opportunity for elevation, an opportunity for unity. It is also an opportunity to take action, to demonstrate what you have actually learned on your journey and I can tell you, you still have a lot to learn. Many think they are ready for the fifth dimension and I would say that with certain attitudes that you still maintain, you have not even been able to find the way to get there. It is as if you are in the middle of a circle, with several paths and you need to choose one, the one that will take you to the fifth dimension. And this path is not difficult to find, all it takes is for your heart to connect with it. And then I say that many of you are following the wrong path and believe that you are on the right path. Many now ask themselves, but what am I doing wrong? This is the easiest question to answer, you just need to look at your heart. But look with love, with humility to recognize that you are going down the wrong path. Then yes, I guarantee you, you will find the right path. Many of you are mistaken, you think you are on the path, but I guarantee you, you still have a lot to learn to be able to connect with it.